Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. HLS Marut also known as HF24 was India's first indigenously developed fighter bomber aircraft. On 17th June 1961 the aircraft conducted its maiden flight. On 1st April 1967 the first production Marut was officially delivered to Indian Air Force. Envisioned to be a supersonic fighter, Marut was never able to cross the speed of Mach 1. The limitation was due to its underpowered engine. A total of 147 Maruts were manufactured. Unfortunately, India could not find a suitable engine for its suitable fighter, leading to gradual phase out of India's first indigenous fighter jet. In 1983, the government of India established the LC project. with initial aim to develop a new light combat aircraft to replace the aging Indian Air Force fighters especially the MiG-21 variants which had been the mainstay of Air Force since 1963 there was a time when Indian Air Force had operated as many as 874 MiG-21s the development of aircraft has seen many roller coaster ride from delay in sanctioning of the fund to western embargo on sharing of the critical technologies with india However, India's continued effort to develop the fighter jet has paid off. The first limited series production aircraft or LSP-1 performed its maiden flight on 25th April 2007. The first LC squadron with IOC standard aircraft was operationalized in July 2016. On 1st July 2023, LC Tejas has completed 7 years of flawless service to Indian Air Force. On this occasion we will discussing in detail about the most important features of LC Tejas and how the fighter jet has revolutionized the India's dream to be self-reliant in fighter jet development. LC Tejas is the smallest and lightest aircraft in its class of contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. LC Tejas is a multi-role platform that ranks amongst the best in its class. It has been designed to undertake the air defense, maritime reconnaissance and strike roles. The inherently unstable Tejas offers carefree handling and enhanced maneuverability. This capability is further enhanced with its multi-mode airborne radar, helmet-mounted display, self-protection suite and laser designation pod. The LC Tejas program was a technology incubator and since its development it has been evolving and continue to do so. The three key technologies that ADA has mastered with LC Tejas development are fly-by-wire flight control system, carbon fiber composite structures and modern glass cockpit. The LSP Tejas has been used extensively to test R73 and Python 5 close combat missiles. IWER beyond visual range air to missiles guided and unguided munition releases integration and testing of Israeli Elta ELM2032 multimode radar Indian Uttam AC radar and Rafael lightning targeting pod the LC Tejas features advanced glass cockpit with high performance graphics to support situational awareness precision support and data fusion The digital avionics system enhances the role of light combat aircraft as an effective weapon platform. The glass cockpit and hands-on throttle and stick hotas control reduces the pilot workload. Accurate navigation and weapon aiming information on the heads-up display helps the pilot achieve his mission effectively. The multi-function display provides information on engine, hydraulics, electrical flight control and environmental control system on a need to know basis along with basic flight and tactical information the dual redundant display processor generate computer generated imagery of these displays the pilots interact with complex avionics system through a simple multi function keyboard and functions and sensors selection panels the human machine interface of lc tejas is excellent and everything is exactly where the pilot will expect to find it with an intuitive layout that eases the cockpit familiarization apart from the master arm switch virtually everything necessary to operate the aircraft is located on the throttle or control column in line with the modern hands on throttle and stick design methodology 
the control law implemented allows the fighter jet to respond very well to the inputs of pilot in the entire flight envelope. It does not require to be at certain speed to get maximum out of it. At any speed, it gives you whatever you demand. The safety factor has also been another remarkable feature of LC Tejas. In last seven years of service, there has been zero crashes. It is impossible to depart from the approved flight envelope limits. The fly-by-wire flight control system of Tejas has an advanced feature called Auto Low Speed Recovery. This enables envelope protection at low speed and high angles of attack. It prevents the aircraft from entering into uncontrolled flight while maneuvering. Another feature is disorientation recovery function. Once engaged, it will recover the aircraft to an optimal altitude, airspeed and level flight. Designed as a weapon delivery platform, Tejas has open architecture which allows integration of Russian, Israeli, Western and indigenous weapons and sensors. Tejas has been cleared to carry both air-to-air -air and ground attack munitions. As per the group captain Samrat Dhankar, the commanding officer of 45th Squadron Flying Dagger, which had opportunity to fire and drop every weapon from LC Tejas, the accuracy of Tejas is excellent and the human-machine interface of the fighter aircraft makes it very easy to employ all weapons across the envelope. The Tejas helmet-mounted queuing system, which allows the pilot to target weapons without positioning the aircraft nose to the target, offers far greater freedom than MiG-21 and is much more advanced as compared with Su-30. LC Tejas has already been integrated with Russian R-73E missile, which is an infrared homing missile, Israel's IWER and Python 5 missiles. The LC Tejas has brought plethora of technologies into Indian aviation sector. The fighter jet has evolved from FOC configuration to IOC configuration with in-flight refueling capability. It further continues to evolve as LC Tejas Mark 1A, which will be a major step from the Tejas MK1 fighter version in terms of operational capability, survivability and maintainability. The MK1 will feature an AAC radar, integration of a pylon-mounted self-protection jammer pod, software defined radio for secure network-centric operations, smart multifunctional displays, an improved radio altimeter, a unified video cum digital recorder, satellite navigation, a combined integrated transponder that is a contemporary identification friend or foe system, besides a new digital flight control computer or DFCC. The Tejas Mark 1A will be easy to maintain as it will make use of press fit mechanism instead of 24 different physical connectors as in the case of Mark 1 which will reduce the maintenance overheads. The Tejas Mark 1A will have greater use of composite which will further reduce the airframe weight and supersonic drag through the use of more aerodynamic pylons. The outer boot pylons will also feature dual racks which will be able to carry the SRAM close combat missile. The first LCATS Mark 1A will be delivered to Indian Air Force in February 2024. ADA and HL is also working on LC Mark 2 which will take its first flight by 2025. The India's fifth generation fighter aircraft program AMCA has also completed its critical design review and the funding approval for SIM is expected in the coming months. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.